Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, again, I'm back. I was here on Tuesday, and I'm still Bob Rose, but uh, that doesn't really matter one way or the other. Uh, I have a pleasure of introducing our guest presenter this evening. Uh, over the years, I've heard a lot about Sanborn maps, and uh, I, I have a very um, a uh, small understanding of them, but basically it's a company that produced maps of uh, uh, most everything in cities that would, would contract with them. Uh, commercial buildings, residential, sewer lines, electrical service, water lines, etc. And the purpose was so they could provide other insurance companies or insurance companies with a method of determining their premiums for insurance. And that's about all I know, but uh, our guest this evening knows all sorts of things about it. And it is my pleasure to introduce you to Kirby Schmidt. You probably have known him for years. So please, let's welcome Kirby. Thank you, Bob. Good evening. Thanks for coming tonight. Um, I'm going to quick hand these little pages out, and unfortunately, you guys uh, that are not in this room aren't going to be able to see this, but this is an index of the legend of the maps, and these are uh, abbreviations for the uses that you're going to see on the maps. And so um, I've got, right now, I've, I've dialed up the index page for 1893 uh, for Spencer. Uh, we have 1893, we have 1900, 1909, 1915, 1924, and 1941 are the years that we have Sanborn maps for Spencer. And so you can see from the index, it says our population, uh, the prevailing winds, uh, what kind of firefighting equipment we have. Um, and on the left side, we see the incandescent arc electric lights, which is how they had street lights, where those great big carbon arcs uh, randomly placed around the town. Um, and all these other things that were uh, associated with trying to find a rate. Um, we've got several slides to go through. And what I'm going to start uh, tonight is we're going to start with the south end of Grand, starting at the river and going north. And I'm going to do um, like 1893 in that area, and then we're going to do 1900 in that area, 1909 in that area, and work our way newer and then further up as they go, because uh, there's several pages. These first three years that we have are only three pages each, and it's just the, just the downtown. And as they get newer, uh, more and more areas are included outside of the downtown uh, until there's actually some of them, uh, some of the newest maps have like the packing plant was outside the city limits, but they actually drew it in because um, it was part of our community, even though it was technically outside the city limits. So let's get started because we're going to run out of time as soon as we can. OK, so hopefully you can follow the cursor. Oh, sorry. And if you have questions, just yell it out, and I'll try to answer it. So here's River Street. So this is oriented left to right left being going north. Um, so right here on the corner of Park and Grand, uh, where the Heritage Center is now, it starts off, there's an ice house. I think you can, so ice house. And there's a well with a, with a windmill. You have a corn crib. So the buildings with an X are stables. That's according to the, to the index. And we've got a dwelling, D for dwelling. It's a one-story dwelling. One story back here, there's a, a, a one, I think that's a horsepower motor on a blacksmith shop next door to that as we're going down this side. So now we're at First Street, happens to be a shed there. And, and I'll zoom back a little bit and you can see that there's some, some houses going west on First and on Park. The dashed lines are porches or open porches. And if it has an A, it's gonna be an accessory or auto. Uh, storage. So this is going to go, uh, stops just short of, of um, 2nd Avenue. Anyway, we're going to, we'll migrate up. So large dwelling here. This is going to, later they're going to call this a boarding house. Dwelling, laundry at the alley. Dwelling, dwelling, dwelling. And then we have another laundry and a tailor. So this would be 2nd Street now. 
And that's as far as we go. So let's jump across the, the, the street. We'll start, we'll start down the river again. All right. So the fire station is right here now. And yep, two, so there's a two-story stable there in the backyard of that house. And now here's the Mr. Muffler in this area. So we have another blacksmith and paint shop on the second floor. Dwelling behind, stable, one and a half story dwelling there. Again, outside stair going up this one. And this is called a double hydrant. So there's your eight inch water pipe. And this one's gonna go a little bit, we can go a little bit further east on this one. So here's first. They're also gonna start changing. So Mill, Mill is First Avenue East. And what else do we have down here? So there's the legend. It's really kind of chopped up on this one. And there's a picture of the high school, which would be where the county administration building is now. And that's the frame one. So um, that's the frame one that was on the same property. So out of that one. And now we do 1900 number one. I'm going to skip the index on this one. The population at 1900 was 3,500. So we went from 2,900 to 3,500 in that time. Now across, now across Park, now we have the creamery, uh, which is where the commercial the laundry is now, the coin-operated laundry, cold storage, churning and separating. I love that coal. <laughs> and it, and it, so it says it's got a it's got a coal for for heat and it's got stoves, no watchmen, private water supply. Now we're going to go, we'll go on the, now we have the NC Bang is right here on the corner. There's, that's the house and it says Bicol rep, Reparity. Reparity. And then we have, so this has changed again. The blacksmith is still there and now we have another building, uh, carriage and painting and then a livery. Again, there's the X so for the stable. Now there's the boarding house that start, opened up again. Laundry, I think, I think that was a laundry there once yeah. before. But the laundry's gone here now, and now it's called carpet weaving. <laughs> and it was a, I think that was a not a dwelling use before on that on that last one. It's really hard because you got it, you know, as you go through these. And then, like I said, a lot more dwellings, are those lots are filling in on that side. Jumping over to the other side, we still have the dwellings here. Now we have a paint shop and blacksmith. And the Free Methodist Church and the Seventh Day Adventist Church between first and second, south of the alley. So again, it's still Mr. Muffler. These are all frame buildings, by the way. When the, the real maps are in color and, and yellow is frame and pink is masonry and blue is concrete block, and brown is steel. I mean, they're, they're really vivid maps if you can get a hold of the bound edition. And uh, we have a, car, a carpenter back in here, and this one behind the dwelling. And then we'll zoom back out and look around. And so the index here, this, this is what, so page one, page two, page three, and then one is where we saw the high school in that corner. That's where they included that. Now we're at 1909. Harvey, uh, yep. With all the churches in town, are so many that this year celebrating the 150th. Mm -hmm. How come there were no uh, churches shown in here? Were they all out, out of bounds as far as what you're showing us here? Well, that last slide, well, the, the question was about the number of churches around town. So the last slide, we had the, the Seventh-day Adventist and the Free Methodist Church on Grand. What, what we're gonna see is because these first years are just right, just basically right down Main Street is what we're gonna see mostly. You get a little bit newer and they start branching out further east and west and you're gonna pick up all those churches and we've got those on, They're, those are gonna be shown. So. so the Strait Brothers over here, the Strait Brothers brick yard, that's the one that was on the property that um, he's the accountant, lives north of 18, East 18th Street and 10th Avenue. Um, 
with Higgins. Higgins. Yes. So if you go up way back into Higgins' backyard, you're gonna see the clay pits back there. That, all, that, all those kilns and all that stuff, that was the Strait Brothers Brick Company way up there. And they include, so it says located two miles northeast of Courthouse. So we're starting at River again. And that's before a railroad came through. The, right? Yes, because the M and St. L didn't come there yet. That's right. Okay. Not, yep. I didn't repeat that. The question was about whether it was before or after the railroad. So um, here we got NC Bang again with his bicycles. And he's got a repair shop again. That's still the stable, it's still the boarding house. But now these other buildings are gone now. We got a couple of dwellings, and the carpet weaving is still there, but the uh, the laundry is not. The laundry was right there, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. that's gone. In fact, all those buildings are gone. Is there and a we, population on this uh, There is population. The population in 1909 was 3,300. Yeah. Yep. So now, the creamery is now a big rectangle. Not in operation. We still have the dwellings, carpenter shop still in the back, but now the front building is gone. We have a vacant building and storage, dwelling. Now, get this. So who said old ME Church, now Union Hall? That is not the configuration of the Seventh-day Adventist and the, and the German Methodist Church, right, that we saw before. This is a totally different building. And it says old ME Church and Union Hall. How did it, yeah, from 1900 to 1909, we got no church and now it's the old one. <laughs> All right, so we zoom back and we see some more, pretty much the same buildings again. Again, you really have to, you'd have to zoom in on one property and then just go through all these and see the different configurations. So that was 1909-1, so now 1915-1. Oh, I don't want that one. Oh, I'm sorry, 1915.5. That's all right. All right, so now we're oriented north and south. So now Main Street's going north and south. So that's the way they're going to be from now on. So again, vacant for the creamery down here, but now we have a great big ice house next to it and, and one dwelling east of that. Again, dwellings on the south side of river. Bang's house is still there, but now we have a gasoline tank, 120 gallons. So now we're starting to, so now we're 1915, we're starting to see cars now. Auto repair shop, concrete floor, vulcanizing. Yeah, and the blacksmith is now in a concrete block building. I'm gonna zoom in. So the stable is now feed, but it's still got an X through it, still stable. We still got dwellings here. The boarding house is now just called a dwelling. Vacant, vacant, dwelling, dwelling. The carpenter shop's not there anymore. <laughs> Carpet weaving now went from, let's see, used, used to be there. Now the car carpet weaving's here. And that's a dwelling now. Union Hall's still there. Carpenter shop in the basement of the Union Hall. And I'll zoom out enough to see the houses again. We'll go this way. And that way, that's as far as you get. All right, so now we're gonna go, this one goes a little bit further north. So now we're gonna go between second and third. So now, there's a lot of stories about when the, when the standpipe caught fire and collapsed onto the skating rink. There's the skating rink. So that would be second, so that would be Let's see, I can't think of what, who's there right now. Second and Grand on the north side is, oh, that's, um, that's the Realty Place. Sir? Um, Curtis Curtis? I don't really. Is that an indoor or outdoor skating rink? Well, it, it's, it's got a two here, so it's gotta be a two-story building. And it's, see the little lines? If you saw the piece of paper, that shows you that there's windows. Those little double lines are windows. Mm -hmm brick veneered and I think at some time it was called the Burgett Building and there was a big stink about the fact that the front fell off the Burgett Building 
and the council, the city council condemned it and he had to remove it. But that's, that's well into the 30s. So, yeah. Yep. So dwelling vacant, hand laundry, restaurant, general repair shop, cobbler, millinery, got to have those hats, <laughs> warehouse, dry goods, music store, grocery. And then and now we're at Third Street in Grand on the west side. So that would be the, re the Mexican restaurant that's right here now. And right in here would be, that would be, would that be the Grand Tap? Or is that the, that's the Grand Tap. That's the Grand Tap right there. Yep. Hotel Commercial. So that was different. We didn't have that before. Oh, no, wait, we didn't get all the way to Third before. Uh, we have skating, pumps and windmills, express office, general storage, secondhand store, fire department. So we have a hose cart and a thousand feet of two, two inch hose, two or two and a half inch hose. Okay, that bank at 296, isn't that where Clay County uh, seed, seed ended up? Yep. Because I think there was a frosted window in there that said bank on it, yeah, okay. So that would be the private bank of the, um, do that again, Bill. The congregational church is behind it. Yep, congregational church behind it. But the guy, the guy that gave all the money away, the guy that died without children and. Probably oh, Griffin? No, the banker. Um, Was it Griffin? Griffin, thank you. Griffin Bank. That's the Griffin Bank and vacant over here. So then going down Third Street, we have Johnson Steam Laundry. So they got an engine back there and a big dwelling. First congregational church. How are we doing for time? Okay. Yeah, we're doomed. <laughs> we're doomed. <laughs> 24, number three. All right. So here we go. That one's not even got a designation. Ice House is still there. We still got dwellings. Now, NC Banks House has got a concrete block veneer. We got a filling station on the corner, a first, well, along with a dwelling. We have a blacksmith, an electric power, and that just says S for store, and a garage storage for 30 cars. Another filling station, that would be, this. Would, so the, the black building, that's because it's um, fireproof, and that is Godfather's Pizza. So there's the Ford dealership. They had a filling station there on the corner. And then here, Tile lined garage storage. Oh no, this would be the Ford garage because there's the elevator to get the cars up on the second floor. This would be another building that was built onto that. Yep, because the, the Godfather is right along the alley. And that's the addition. I think when you look at the building now, on the back building that is part of General Machine, you can see on the wall where the roof was attached to that building. Another big building there on the corner of second. So we're getting fewer, a few less houses. And now we're going to third. Again, rooming house, laundry, tire and battery repair, auto repair, a garage. So from what I remember, the three Shine brothers had a lot of stuff in this area on both sides. And I can't remember their first names, but one of them, the one of them was over on this side, and I think he moved to California. And the other ones were Ben's parents, Ben's father and, and uncle, correct? OK. Bottling Works. So there was a soft drink bottling company that, that kind of comes to, to light during the during the fire when we needed to have people drinking stuff and they contaminated the water system with the river water. Congregational Church is still there. The bank's still there. Now we're just having S's for stores. So we, we're less information, which is maddening sometimes. And this isn't the one. All right, so now we're doing. What does the F stand for on some of them instead of V? The F? Yeah. So on, the, on that handout I gave you, 
One of them is flat, and the other one stands for a um, uh, like a like a uh, distribution or a delivery service, as I recall on the handout. Um, so, but I remember that if it has a flat, if it would have a flat roof. So I'm not sure exactly why they have the F there. Now we're going to jump all the way to 41, 41, 4. Yep. Oh, we're populations up to 66.50 now. Yep. All right. The vacant building that was the creamery is totally gone. The ice is gone. There's those Fs. So, with, is that wouldn't that it's a two-story building? Isn't that about where that apartment is? Yeah, and it's flat roof. Mm -hmm. It's got a flat roof, yep. and it's got a division like. Yeah, okay. Down below, yep. So we got a bunch of buildings way down here. We got a filling station on the corner, which is going to be there for a long time. We actually have a concrete bridge. Look, concrete bridge! Yay! <laughs> Filling station, auto repair, fire department. So in 1942, they built the fire department. So that must have been under construction. The concrete bridge, the one that it replaced, is now out north of uh, 18th Street North. The, the, the two metal bridges that were south of, of Park, one is Thunder Bridge, and the other one is going to the, land, the tree site. Yeah, okay. But I'm... I'd have to think about which one's which, okay. because there's a north and a south, and oh, really? yeah, there's a north and a south bridge, and then the wooden dock thing in between them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Again, a lot more auto repair, auto repair, auto repair. A lot of tin shop, another filling station on this corner. So now we're on first, another filling station. A lot of filling stations down there. Auto sales and service. Now I'm pretty sure that that's a shine business now. And there's a flat roof, but it's it's two stories again with a basement. Tractor sales. Yep, tractor sales. So John Hart built this in 1941. Just as the war was ending, he got permission to build this building for tractor sales. I don't know if tractor sales ever was in there because it immediately half of it became the Elks. Okay. Because all I remember, when I was a kid, all it was is the moose. And half, the north half was the moose, and I can't remember if Herbster's was in the south half, right? Herbster yeah. Electric. Yep. Auto repair again. Okay, here we are. Cobb Funeral Home. Undertaker. All that stuff is gone, and it got replaced with a, with a building. And used auto parts. Junk. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have yeah, oh, got to have wholesale beer over here. Was that Ham's? Was that Ham's beer over there? That's what, when I was a kid, that was Ham's. Could have been. Yeah. Walker, that was Walker's first place. Walker's first place? Okay. All right. This, Don Hemphill's in the audience, so there's his building. There's the Bandbox Theater and a restaurant. And again, we're just getting stores here. There's Joe's. Yeah, there's yeah, there's Clay County Seeds and Seed Cleaning back here. And there's the Johnson Laundry and store and store and store and a hatchery. Hatcheries were really big early in. Yep, and there's the Congo Church yet. Let's dial it back. That's about all we're gonna get on this one. And now we're back. Okay. So none of these went north of fourth, do you think? They will. Oh, okay. Yep. So now we're at number two. Okay, now we're back to 1893. Now we're, now we're between second and fifth. And we're back to east or left and right for Main Street. So we're going to start at Second Street. The Clifford House, vacant, Spencer Hotel, bakery, grocery, millinery, millinery, storage, millinery, meat market, grocery, B&S, boots and shoes. <laughs> Stationary, jeweler, restaurant, dry goods, hardware, harness. No, because that's they're they're even further north. They're, Hansons is further north. Yep, dry goods. Um, the definition of dry goods is sheets and and um, household tools and all the sorts of sundry all the all of the sundry things. Yard goods, 
Yep. Harness, meat, grocery, jeweler, boots and shoes again, drugs, photo gallery. So there's, this is 4th Street. So there's, I'm pretty sure it's Medler, but I'm not positive. Yep. And so we've got some, here's the Merchants Hotel down here in the Hotel Commercial. There's third, there's fourth. So this would be about where Van Hoffwig and Dental is. Now we're going across fourth. West Street is First Avenue, west. We got a livery where the Main Street parking lot is, wagon shop, blacksmith, printing. So then again, here we got, we got a, we got a four horse engine in the basement. <laughs> and J.O. Hodgins feed. And there's a windmill with a well and a shed. Go back up on Grand Bank. See, that's what I didn't know. I, I guess I never realized there's a bank right on that corner. You know, there's Farmer's Bank over here, but to the north, they said it's bank. And there's the other bank right there. What year is this? This is 1893. Yep. General Store Hardware. Yep. <laughs> Taylor. Grocery, restaurant, billiards, agricultural implements, and storage. So Let's from, jump. Hurry back up to that. Um, I'm just trying to find. What? Is there a hardware store someplace along there? Yeah. Yep. Uh, well, there's hardware's right here. That'd be on the, like the north end of the McAllister block oh. yep. as it was rebuilt. Oh, that's right. This, this is pre fire. Okay, yep. Yeah. Yep. So there's the Nicodemus building. So that goes all the way to here. But look at that. That rest of that block is empty. There's nothing there but the Nicodemus block. And that just goes back to here. So the carpenter shop in the back. And the Knights of Pythias Hall is upstairs. KFP, Knights of Pythias. It was a fraternal order uh, generated by a union officer during the Civil War or after the Civil War. I don't know what all their little rules were, but it lasted for quite a while. There was a lot of lodges and clubs over the years upstairs. So here is the old the bank building that turned into City Hall at one time that got torn down, which is now Insurance Associates is now vacant right now with a millinery lady in the back. Drugs, furniture, dry goods, clothing, groceries. Groceries and boots and shoes, jeweler, hardware, notions, two notion stores. And then we're back to the Clay County Seed Building and notions and harness, cabinet shop. And there's your kindergarten. If you ever see those old pictures of the first kindergarten, it was right there. And that Johnson's is smaller again. And what do we have over here? So there's the backyard. So there's the lumber yard that eventually will turn into Shoneman lumber but now it's this guy. Wagon shop in the corner and printing and blacksmith. And over here is Mr. Mauer's foundry and machine shop. He's the guy that made the hay press, which is, we call a baler now. FX Mauer. I think there's still Mauer family people that live south of Spencer that are associated with them. I, I think that's it. All right, so here's your host cart number two. This is what kills me. I just love this. What do you suppose that is? <laughs> That's right. That's the jail. Lock up. <laughs> All right. So now the Baptist Church is on 3rd Street. So let's see. There's Main. 1st Avenue doesn't go through. So it's in one of those houses, or was, on 3rd on Street. And if that's where First Avenue goes through now, so it's somewhere because it doesn't go all the way to Second Avenue. All right, 1900 number two. Again, we're oriented left and right, so north and south. North is left. This is what year? 1900. This is 1900. So again. Boarding house, drugs, boarding house, bakery. I love, the oven is back here on its own. <laughs> Flour and feed, secondhand store, cobbler, harness, millinery, grocery. The hotel commercial is still there. Is that oven the one that's down in the basement where pressed jewelry is now? Because we did our uh, No, because pressed is, pressed is between, is just south of fourth. 
And this would be, this would be on the seconds. Yeah, this would be a block south. There are bakers all over the place. Now this is the union block, and that's the three guys that made the union block. So we have restaurant in the basement, boots and shoes, music, and this, I'd never, Queen SW. I have no idea what that means. Queenswear, maybe? Queenswear, I don't know. Sure. Okay. Fancy clothing. Dry goods and groceries. I love that one, racket. <laughs> so, here's the deal, I looked it up. So, it's a two-story building, and a racket, according to the definition, is a, is a game similar to tennis played against walls. Because I tried to make it some sort of a social organization where old men got together and traded lies. <laughs> but I couldn't do it, I couldn't do it. That's, That's a hotel <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay, so we have a meat market, and look at this, rendering kettle in the back. Again, prior to refrigeration, think about the odor. We're fixing, we're vulcanizing tires, we're fixing batteries. We have meat markets and groceries. Can you imagine what the alley smelled like? Yeah. Grocery, jeweler, grocery drugs. There's fourth again. This is 1900. This is 1900. We're getting close to refrigeration, but not there yet. Baptist Church is still there. And uh, yeah, we don't go any further. Uh, Kirby, any, any idea who Lovell and Hubbard were? So I'm sure they're just two citizens that, had, that owned land. So uh, in the scheme of things, so you remember, original plat was in 1871. Lovell and Hubbard was the next one of note on these maps is 1879. First railway edition is 1880. Second and third railway is 1883. Both second and third were the same year. Griffin and Adams, which is north of the tracks along Grand, is 1884. And the first college edition, which would be east of GNA, uh, that's 1891. So there's your city building. And the story about that is the railroad gave the city that lot, uh, free and clear, uh, uh, so that we could have a city hall. And immediately the fire laddies put a hose cart in it. And we didn't have much of a building. So but it's a two-story, and the lockup's still there. And now we're still going down fourth. There's First Avenue, and there's your, your stable, blacksmith, wood shop, printing, merchants hotel is still there, photo gallery is still there. If I stay this far out, can you guys see and read all the stuff? Or do I have to zoom in more? Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. There's your lodge hall up above. The bank's still there. Now the post office showed up over here. And that's a real estate office of, oh, sides and rear tile. Yep. The photo gallery. So at one time, we had two photographers, and one was on the third floor of the bank. And now we got a really small building here. Lodge Hall again. So there's the Odd Fellows Hall up above with the three. They're yeah. Yep, they're upstairs. Barbershop. Again, small wooden building, clothing. And now look, there is the McAllister block, or the Nicodemus block. Now the opera house is there, two and three stories. We have another furniture store and, and boots. So we, this block is almost filled out. We just have one little vacant lot over here. Otherwise, it's all filled out. And the lumber yard's still back there, but now we have a livery here and a blacksmith over there, another blacksmith there. So you can see the progression. We're totally dominated by agricultural and the needs of the, of the people. And as, as you get newer, it's more and more about cars and less and less about agriculture on Main Street. Got a feed yard. On Mill is First Avenue East. So now, 1909, number two. Okay, we're still left and right. We're 1909, we're starting at second, going to, I think, fifth. Yep, going just the south side of fifth. So the, the boarding house is now vacant. And we have a carpenter shop, millinery. Again, sewing machine office, dwellings in between, secondhand goods. Again, small buildings again. So the, the deal is, we, you go back and forth, you can see if the footprint changed. Because they're picking buildings up and moving them up all the time and replacing them and doing this and that. 
So you really got to, you almost got to pick a property and just go through all these. There's a union block. Now, there's nothing next to the union block now. It's all empty. Harness, gas, something. Meat. Oh, that's meat. And there's that rendering kettle again. Bakery. Now, the, and there's the oven. So that didn't change. Music, millinery. There's fourth. Oh, wait a minute. The bakery moved. The bakery was over here. Now it's over here. Oh, moving pictures. Moving pictures. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're right. It is. Hmm. So for that oven that you're looking at right now, is that possible that's where Price is now? No, we're, well, it's, yeah, it's possible. Yeah. Yep, yep, yeah. yep. That, but it doesn't say it's in the basement, though. It says it it's a one, one story. There's one now that's in, there, there was a theater there, or a, a um, bakery, bakery there, with the, in the basement was their oven. Mm. Oh, wow. Now All right. It's their dark room now. So now we don't have lockup. They call it a jail. And a tool house. To, tool house. We still got our hose cart. Wagon shop. So right here is the big Glasgow Hikens. No. Glasgow Hikens or is it Hemp Hill building? Right here. It used to be the the state liquor store. The two story white. Uh, tile. There's McAllister again. Now we have a telephone exchange with the, on the post office on the first, telephone exchanges on the second. Getting close to the fire. Nothing much has changed here. <coughs> we'll zoom out a little bit. And the Grand Opera House. Now you got some details. There's the stage for the Grand Opera House. There's the there's the first balcony. There's the second balcony of the Grand Opera House. Metal ceilings. I mean, they, there's a lot of information if you want to do it. So now we're still not on the corner. That's still all open now, because before we had one lot, and now we have two lots open. Knights of Pythias again. And there was also a woman's version of the Knights of Pythias. I can't remember what they called them. Lumberyard's still there, Mauer's still there. Now we have the feed yard, livery, and there's the library. So we're after 1903, was it the library, wasn't it? And there is um, J.H. Hale's house. He's the guy, and he and his wife are the ones that platted the original plat, that's his house. That library would have been the old Carnegie Library. That's the Carnegie Library, yep, but it's brand new now at 1909. It's pretty near brand new. Yep. Still got blacksmiths. You still got some vacant lots in here, here. Ice house back there now. There's the bank building, but now it's just a barber on the basement and an office because the bank is no more. Meat, there's that kettle again in the back, making and smelling. Bowling for the first time. Harness, millinery. And union, uh, land office, confectionery, got to have candy, bottling depot, Spencer Ice Cream Factory, bank, vacant. See, I don't understand the bank. I don't get third in a bank. So I'm, no, that's, oh, that's still Griffin's Bank. That's right. But now it's all open. And now we have the fire department hose cart here. And now the kindergarten is gone. And it's a second hand upholstery, first floor, sign printing on the second. And the skating rink is now a garage. All right. So that laundry there would have been more A&M burned down. Yep. I wouldn't be a bit surprised. Yep. Yep. 1915, three. Now we're oriented. North, north is up now, and we're starting at third. 1915. 1915. So now we're still all by ourselves over here at the Union Block. Library's still there. Yep. Now, but look at this over on East Fourth Street. 
Picture theater. And bakery. Cream station. Warehouse. There's the old bank building that now is, at some point, is going to become City Hall. Now it's not the commercial anymore. It's not the Hotel Lion because the other one's gone. Yep. Grocery. So there's Fourth and Grand. So where Farmer's Bank is, or the old Farmer's Bank, grocery and confectionery, two-story wood frame, bakery again. There's that pressed one. Yep. Meat, harness, bacon. H-U-R-O. I don't know what that means. Oh, auto. I'm sorry. It should fill in. Auto. Yep. So we're going to go down here. You guys aren't getting vertigo, me going in and out, right? <laughs> Lodge again. There is the Fraser Theater now. Hardware and a tin shop next to it. Boots and shoes. Over here, Lodge Hall, post office, telephone exchange, drugs. Printing, office, wagon shop, farm implements. So now we finally got a building here. That's the Redfield building. That's stuff and furniture. So drug and furniture. So an undertaking. <laughs> so you sell furniture, you'd probably get an undertaking business. OK, the Chicago Milwaukee, uh, that, did the railroad own that block? That's, that's the first railway addition. So the railway addition starts at 4th and goes north. Original plat stops at 4th. And so then now why it's. Why did they call it Chicago Milwaukee? Did Chicago? Did the railroad? The railroad platted it. Oh, yep. Okay. Yep. And so now we're no. We have now we have the Schoenman Brothers Lumberyard. They've changed hands now. Do you know whether that was their first location, or did they start something? They started in South Dakota. They started. Yep. So now we're on Fifth Street, going north. <coughs> so we have a harness shop. Now the Moors, the Moore family is in this area, right in here. So you're going to see the concrete, uh, the garage, office, auto repair, vulcanizing. The Central Hotel, I believe, is where the architects are right now. And there's the bank with, if you ever see old pictures, in the old Citizens Bank, except it wasn't. It was the, it was before the Citizens name. It was a different bank had the little, uh, little, um, thing. Yeah. yeah, variety store, farm machinery. So there's, there's the old post office site. Yep. So the, and the flo there's the floaty office. Yep. There's the floaty office. There's the lumber yard and the lumber yard on an, on another slide, you're going to see more lumber stacked out here. It says two-story in Barber. It doesn't say basement, so it must be on the first floor. Okay. And there's, there's more of that, that darn pool game again, that billiards. Mm -hmm. Cigar shop. Superior Lumber is on this block now. So we got, we got floaty on this side, superior on this side, and go block south, and you're going to get Shoneman's. But again, it's filled in. We got one spot here. There's Spencer Dairy Produce. And there's the Creamery. It just happens to stick into the right of way a little bit. <laughs> there's Spencer Milling. Now that one had a huge fire and it burned for like six months. That they just let it burn in the basement of the of the milling company. Is that where the school administration? That's over here. School administration's here. That would be the parking lot to the south. Yep. So there's all the spur ra the spur rails going in for all the lumber yards. It's just a third lumber yard in town. Yeah. So here's Floaty. There's Superior. There's Shoneman. We had three of them going downtown. What now? Well, there isn't. One. Oh yeah. There's lots of building. Yeah. So there's there's a lumber shed. There's a coal shed. Lumber shed over here. 
cedar posts, shingles over here. That's how they, it's how they oriented their yard. See, what year was this now? This is 1915. 15, okay. Yep, same thing. Here's all the floaty sheds. Mm -hmm. And it shows the hotel if you go up. Yep, there's the, there, well, that's the Erling. That's the wood frame one. Now look at this configuration right here and put that in your memory. Because when it moves, I'll show you where it ends up on the other side of the tracks. 1941, two. So they moved the wood building, the wood hotel? 24, oh, 24, two. Okay, we're gonna start down here on Third Street again. What year are you after? I'm in 24, 1924, library's still there. Now we got a great big concrete block garage next to it. Remember that one? That used to have farm implements when I was a kid, it had farm implements in it. Now it's the parking lot just west of the library. Filling station on the corner, the union block right here. I remember farm implements like, like they weren't John Deere, but it was green, so maybe Oliver? Oliver, Oliver. Oliver okay. And they also had Studebaker as well. Studebaker too, okay. The Lion Hotel is still there, bake shop. But now look, less information again. We just got S's. And we got a six ton ice machine and a kettle. So was that still the meat place and that's how he's doing refrigeration? Bakery's still there. Where's, where's the movie theater? Hmm. Movie theater's gone. Yeah. Photo studio, now there's, there's the Medler building because that was 21. I think that was 21 is when that was built. Again, another gas station, that blacksmith. Where, um, That's the parking lot for the Main Street parking lot. Yeah. Main Street, yeah. Used to be Bud's to way be back, there. yeah. Telephone exchange is still there. Auto repair in the back here. A garage. So there's the, um, now I can't remember his name. The city owned that. They just sold it not too long ago. Shoot. So here's Fifth Street, auto repair, carpenter shop, miscellaneous storage, drugs. And all we got is S, which is crazy. All, all you got is drugs and S's. The theater's still there. Move, the the Frazier Theater's still there. Now Shoneman's doesn't have nearly the number of buildings shown anymore. Welding, printing. Now we don't have Maurer over here anymore. So the one that says welding would have been where Edward D. Jones used to be years and years ago. Uh, Edward G. Oh, Jones. East Fifth. East Fifth. Right where it says uh, welding. So there's the alley. So that's, this is, this would be the barbershop. This is the little parking lot that Tim Steffen has. And this would be, yeah, if. The drugs, the drugs on the corner is where Nelson Drug was. Lynch before yeah. that, yep. Lynch, Lynch drug, drug before that. Okay, so here we are, the, the more stuff again, more garages. And one story, that's a one story building. That's a two-story, two-story. The turret's gone off the bank. That's when they did that remodeling. And there's, Floaty's got a bunch of stuff back here again. Lumber there. But again, we lost everything because it just says S. And there's the, the Daily Reporter building. Post office now is in the first floor of the Floaty apartment building. Yep. Again, now it's Anderson Lumber. Wasn't it um, Superior? Yeah. Now it's Anderson. Battery station, I love that. So somewhere around here, 1924, when did, when did Arnold Motors start? Was it about right now? 27. 27, okay. So then we, that, I think that's where he ended up, is at this battery station one in a garage. 
Now this is Asher stuff now, probably in 24. So you're gonna see, so there's Asher Motors there. And the printing in the top left hand corner with that word Marco Springing is still today, right? Yeah, this one? Yeah. Yep. So that the dark rectangle is the hotel. That's that's the hotel. So there's the brand new hotel now. And there's the little connecting link. So two weeks ago when you guys did the Tangney one, there's the new hotel. He had a picture of the 41, which is nice in color, but there's the old wood frame annex. There's the connecting link. All right, 40, one, two. Let's see, there's Grand. We're starting at third. Hmm? Oh man, we're doomed. Yeah, it's 10 till already, oh my. <laughs> so here's the deal. So where the guy has the lawnmowers and stuff behind the union block, it says Undertaker. And I never knew that before, but auto, auto repair in the back, Undertaker in the front. <laughs> you don't see the Baptist church anymore. So the Baptist church would be right in this, and it says apartments now in this one. And we, again, we just have stores, bowling alley, store, store, there's Medler. Now we have the brand new Farmer's Bank and a restaurant. Because we're just going to get the west side of Grand on this one. Filling station, a lot more auto repair. Does it show the new post office? No, because that'd be 32 before the new post office got built. Okay. There it is. Oh, there it is. Well, we're 41, all right. There you go. Yeah, that's right. Here's There's a quick story. Bill yep. Renzig told me that when he was a kid, his dad had special construction. Yep. He would carry water from the floating building over to the construction workers at the post office so they have water for hydration for, for the men. Oh, yep. Dear. So the story is Spencer Construction was created to build the Tangney. Oh, really? That was their first job. Really? Yep. Yeah, was that Nels Renzi at the time? Nels Renzi. Yeah. N yeah. NC or NG? I can't remember. Nels. Renzi. So there's the Baptist Church. So that we're sitting right here. This is, the, this is the same property that we're sitting in right now. Northwest Bell got built after the fire. County Jail, the real county jail, which was 39, 1939. Sometimes you get lucky and they put a date on them. That filling station has gone off the corner, but all the rest of those stores, are there. that's that five storefront that they built after the fire. And what else do we got over there? Nursing home, so I'm not sure if Delaney owned that by now. But that's Second Avenue. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't sure if, if the Delaney family owned it already, or if it, they bought it after somebody else started it. So, so there's the that the reason there's a line going through uh, Spencer, uh, the Spencer Reporter Building is it's the that's how they shaded it for the configuration of the construction. And there's the floaty again. Now it's Anderson, it's not floaty anymore, it's Anderson Lumber. And I need 41.3. Here's the east side of Grand. So starting at third, there's your library, gas station. School. The school's there now. Yeah. High yep, high school with auditorium. Because they cut it off here before, you never got that far enough east. And in fact, the auditorium got built in 36. City Hall, office, office. Hospital, second floor. That would be above Rexall's. Hospital. Ruth Beasleman said that's where her husband started his medical practice. Yep. Yep, Dr. Fieselman. Masonic Temple is now built. Wholesale groceries. And there's another store here that used to be, yep, filling station on the side that burned. Yep, might rain. All right, so here's the more family stuff again. And there's the arcade building for the first time. Bottling works, cold storage, farm implements back here, motor freight, wholesale grocery. 
So there's your, there's your Spencer Grocer. And if you go way over here, that's a wholesale produce place. Filling station again. Now Asher's, this is the fun one. So Asher's, in a picture we've got, that is undercut. You drive underneath that building to get to your filling state, to get to your pump, and there's the tanks. And it's all open. It had a post right here in the corner. Yep. We are almost out of time, and I'm not even halfway through. I'm only at 14 out of 32. We're doomed. Yeah. You're going to have to decide where to start. 1950. Well, let's go up grand. Let's go up grand some more. 15 1. So there's the railroad tracks as you're crossing Grand. So there's the elevator, the depot, the freight depot. Again, there's north, that's north, that's south. Go look at it sideways. All the elevator stuff. There's the garage, which is now um, uh, Sherwin Williams. And all the, yep, and there's, yep, there's your electric power plant and the wells behind it. 24-6. Now, now it's oriented. North is up. We're crossing the tracks again. 24. So this will be fun. Here's H&N. &N. And north of them is the ice cream place. Ice house, contractors. There is the front half of the Erling. On First Avenue West, around the corner from H and N. So there's H and N's body shop is right here, and this used to be the telephone company's um, storage building. And after the American Hotel leaves, that it becomes Shoneman Lumber. No, uh, not Shoneman. No, not Spencer Lumber. I'm going to think about it. Um, but it, yeah, it was a lumber yard after that. Okay, and last year we talked about the Thomas family having their manufacturing, the Bulldog Accelerator, that's their building. So that's where, that's where Thomas Manufacturing was. Filling station, so now we're at the eighth. Here's the first wrinkle. All these streets are off by two now. When we, re, when we redid the streets, this becomes eighth. Before it was sixth, because we had West North Railway, East North Railway, South West South Railway. Yeah. Wonder why they changed it. <laughs> so everything gets changed. So this is really ninth. And we got dwellings. Forty one eight. Okay, so now we're in forty one. There's H and N again. There's the dairy. Now I've got a radio up here. We've got another dairy up here. We've got a filling station in the corner. Farm machinery now is in, is in Thomas. There's the H&N body shop, and there's the lumber yard. Hotel's <coughs> gone. And there's another uh, auto, auto place. Hatchery, so there's a hat. This is the block of the parking lot that is now High V. All that block is High V's parking lot. The High V building is over here now. So we have a great big hatchery here, and a store, a restaurant, and a filling station, and another filling station. The I was I was gonna I thought the maid right I thought the maid right was closer. Would that be the maid right? Yeah. Because it seems to me that it was it was closer. I remember it being underneath a great big elm tree. Yep. So here are, the, here are the two houses, the two houses on Grand in Griffin and Adams, I believe, that, um, nope, this is still railway, uh, that were taken out when Hope Reform, this is Hope Reform's block. And there's the railroad stuff, a lot of railroad stuff, a lot of lines over there. And we don't have, we don't have Beer Warehouse, that's still there. And there is the, um, oh shoot, Froelich. Froelich's house right there. So there's only two. The, the apartments aren't there in the middle. And there's um, Mr. Montgomery's house. 
and there's the palm house, and we aren't going to get to the, we aren't going to get to the, nine, to the mansion just yet. So here's the east side of, of Grand going up. There's all the farm equipment on the north side of 7th Street. The power plant stuff. What's the population? Uh, population in 41 is 6650. So electric supplies and repair, I think that's where Pixar Electric started out at. If anyone remembers Ivan. So there's the light plant, nothing else but some stores, a dwelling, and an F. Again, two-story flat roof, if that's what it is. Dwellings. First English Lutheran. There's the, hosp there's the original hospital. And 15-4. So now we're on the west side. So here's, or excuse me, the east side. Here's the high school. Yeah, we're at 7 o'clock right now. So Friends Church, Prairie is 2nd Avenue East, 4th Street, right there on the corner, Friends Church with a 45-foot steeple with a hitching shed in the back for your parishioners. <laughs> There's St. Stephen's before it gets moved down to the river, the feed shop, another feed barn. So here's 1st Avenue again, planing mill. Poultry and eggs. And here's the German Lutheran Church again. That's at, so it's, it's in 15. So this would be 11th Street and 2nd Avenue East. And it's a German Lutheran Church. And I don't know if they survived somewhere and went somewhere. I don't know. Because the Swedish Lutheran became Trinity. And I don't know what happened to the German Lutheran one. 4111. All right, now we're on the west side in 1941. And that would be. No, he's still, we're still in the east. No, that's the west side. This is, oh, here's Grand right here. So now we're going to get further up Grand. So. There's the mansion. They own the block across the street, <laughs> which is now the Baptist Church right here. So the hospital is right down that block, but you can't see it now because it's too far north. And what was the fun thing? So there's the doctor's office at 13th, because now we're 41, so now the streets are right. 13th and Grand, Schlichtemeyer, Frank, mm -hmm. and who else was in there? in the same dwellings. There's the house of tomorrow. <clears throat> Bethany's not there yet. The Baptist church isn't there yet. So now we're just seeing, so we get way up here, auto repair, where like uh, Napa, filling station and a tourist camp. So little bitty huts back here that you can stay at. <laughs> The maintenance building, the clay tile maintenance building, which is going to become a Domino's now. Auto repair. And there's 18th Street. And so what's the building where the shopping center is now? There? That was a farm. And I just barely remember that. So there is, and what I remember is the feedlot fence. So there was a feedlot fence along the highway here. Mm -hmm. And it was a great big mound of dirt. I remember that. And I remember cattle. So I think that would miss, be Mr. Bullock's, I think, Mr. Bullock's house and his outbuildings. Mm. Yep. Let's see, let's see. So now we'll do 24, 15. So, you, so um, we haven't ever gone to the south. So this is the first one. So gravel is east. 4th Street Southeast, and High is 1st Avenue. So there is the Woodcock Greenhouse, which is where Oak Creek Plaza, or they have a new name now, uh, the big three-story concrete apartment building. That's where the greenhouses were. There's the popcorn 
Tuttle Popcorn, which is where the south part of the fairgrounds is. And there's some of the fairgrounds buildings. Uh, 41, number three. And that's, yeah, so 41, number 13. So this is the only time we're gonna see something from the South Grand, and it's in 1941. So there is the tour, uh, there's the, the grandstands for Leach Field. You've seen the old picture with the, with the stone walls. There's the swimming pool. There's the Shield Shelter House, gas station on the corner, the bottling works, which was Spencer Auto Parts, which was, which dairy? Jersey. Jersey, thank you. Jersey Dairy. There's the greenhouses again for Woodcock. And we still got, and we have a machine shop and welding shop, which was, um, yeah, now I can't remember his name. Where's the bridge? Where's the river? Uh, bridge is up that way. Oh, okay. Yep. So this would be 4th Street, the 4th Street light. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So at, so here's the what what I remember is being called the Car Motel, yeah, yeah, and at the very bottom, there you are, McCarney Rose Furniture. Yeah, yeah. There, you go, there you go, Bob. And that's the city limits. The street names changed in 1939 in August. Almost all of them. They kept Iowa Boulevard, which is West 7th, way out there. They kept that for quite a while longer. But you would literally have, you would cross the tracks and they would, some of them, it was North and South Miller, which was 3rd Avenue, East. And, but other places, you would cross the tracks and it would change the name of the street. You would be driving on Hughes Street and all of a sudden you'd be on something else. And, you know, there's Stebbings and Hughes and... All sorts, uh, all sorts of streets way out there going towards 10th Avenue. So yeah, it was, yeah. They argued about addressing for decades before they did it. I mean, I think the first time I read an article about them readdressing the town, it was in the early 1900s and they just argued all the time. Postmasters would come and go and just yell about the addressing scheme and nothing, they would do nothing. It was great. Get electricity to the whole city. No? Ooh, great question. Um, the electricity to the city. Um, the utilities started really early. There was a it was a, a private group of investors that made and got the first generator, and then they started uh, selling power. And I can't remember when uh, the city got involved. Because at the time, the water department was run by the city council. They didn't have a board of directors. That came in quite a ways later. And then they started generating electricity and then just kept adding capacity and adding capacity. And they went bankrupt once, early on. And then it got refinanced with some other people. And I think that's when the city might have gotten involved. But it was really cool. At one point, we were supplying power for, I think, three or four surrounding communities. And when rural electrification came in, they just said, here's money for your poles. You don't own them anymore. And we were out of the business. We just, then we just, uh, I think we, well, we still generate electricity for quite a while after that in steam, but yeah. Um, like and they, maybe 1920s or? Oh, no, no, way before then. Oh, really? Oh, oh yeah. Because RAC came in in 40. Uh, no, it, I thought it was in the 30s that they lost their poles. I thought it was in the 30s that they that rural electrification took them took them over. So here's the west side. We got the courthouse. We have the high school over here. Grace United Methodist. I wanted to show this one because there's the boys club, and there's the tunnel going over to the swimming pool. Yeah, isn't that fun? That's so fun. No Baptist church over there anymore. And there's the Church of Christ where the bank is now, the farmer's bank. There's the fire department still. And this is in 15, sorry. So the courthouse is pretty good. And look at this. There's a jail. 
We don't have lockup anymore. Let's see. Nope, that little building doesn't have anything on it. Okay, well, the third house has light, so they, and this was in 15, so they must have had a city electricity before that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yep. And then the, here's the, so here's the wood frame Catholic Church on the corner of 3rd Avenue and 5th. And then later, you're going to see the Catholic Church is a masonry building right over in this area. And that's, and I think at one time, I think a really old one, I think it jumped again. It, they might have had a church over here to first, then they went over there, then they went back over here. Then the School of Business gets built in this area when they, when they built the church out west. And there's the Baptist Church right there where we're sitting today. Let's see, that was 15-2. Are we getting tired of doing this? Do you want me to stop? Because I, I still got about 10 slides left. Your call. 24-9. So now we're in 24. There's the courthouse. Different school now. Remember that got burned down and it got rebuilt. Yep. Grace United is still there. Boys Club is still there. Swimming pool is still there. Church of Christ is different. It's bigger. County Jail is over there now. Instead over here. But it's still not the real one because that was 39. We are not. We don't have that one that we have now or just got rid of. And there's Sacred Heart over here now. There's the Masonry one. Baptist Church is still in this corner. Now we're way west. There's your public school. 1941. 1941. The State Highway Commission. So there's the Clay County Roads Secondary Roads Department. That's the State Highway Commission. They moved from 18th Street down to here. And there is Walt Thomas's big ranch house right there. That got built. So part of this deal is if you want to, and if you're in these slides, you can go research your house and the configuration of your house over the years, if you're close enough in that you can get you know, multiple views of them, if you have an older house, and, and check out how much, you know, how it's changed over the years. Number four. Now, back to 1915, and we're on the east side. So the yeah, French Church is still there. High school is still there. But no, uh, no auditorium yet. And the planing mill and the German church. North school for the first time. I wonder if we can just... Let's see, what else could we... Oh, let's do 41.7. So here's 10th Avenue East. 1941. 1941. There's Reynolds School, otherwise known as East. Before East, they burned down, they rebuilt it, and, and then they renamed it after Catherine Reynolds. Here's East 4th Street going across and 10th Avenue. So sometimes they would, on the early ones, there's the Pentecostal Church, they would um, put the old names on sometimes in parentheses. I think in 24 they did that. No, it had to have been in this one. And just a bunch of houses here and there. We're kind of running low. 3110. What do we got here? West side. Oh, this is one I wanted to show you. So, so there, so there it is. So North Railway, East North Railway. So here's Fourth or Sixth Avenue. On, on the east side, so this used to be the um, recycling center recently, I think it's vacant now, Cargill, Rath Packing Company, Peterson Sheep, so we had a packing plant over here, I'm not sure what they slaughtered, and there was a packing plant over on West 7th, uh, and look at all the vacant lots. 
Look at all the vacant lots out here. And the street department at 10th and 10th Avenue. And I barely remember that wooden shed there. Yeah, that's popcorn and fairgrounds. So these are the these are the factories. So this siding, this rail siding, came off of the M and St. L, and it spun around and headed east. So now we're into inside Shines Land, Spencer Concrete Block Works, the Wag Battery Manufacturing, and then Shine Brothers started moving out here, Woolen Hides, Shine wood, Woolen Hides, and a chicken house. <laughs> And more buildings at the fairgrounds now. Look at all the horse barns and swine barns. Grandstands are up because it's after because this is 41. It's after the fire. And there's the main gate. And then all those vacant lots out there <laughs> next door. 41.6. And this would be like the Fourth Avenue East going along the railroad tracks. I always thought this was cool. So there's the M and St. L lines. All these lines here are the railroad tracks. There's the turntable. When they came in, they always said about a turntable and you can, now you can finally find it. So a lot of elevators, a lot of, a lot of grain handling here, farm machinery, a lot of oil, a lot of oil storage in these areas. Look at all the oil storage. Beer warehouse. There's the passenger depot for the M and St. L more grain handling. This is what gets me. High school farm shop. Fifth and Fourth Avenue. Yeah. I never I'd never heard of it. And there's the old Bethany. And again, bulk oil over here. All the way along that track was seed warehouse. Rubber cement factory. So one, uh, the two-story concrete block building, at one point, I think, just before Perry Judd bought it, Bill Stevenson was in there. And before that, Nielsen Radiator Cement Company was there. And I, I can't remember if there's, and then before that, originally it was the Lit Razor Factory. They made razor blades there. And again, look at the siding and look at all the oil being stored. So again, the difference between agricultural focus and automotive. I mean, the oil business, the maintenance bill and all that stuff has just changed so drastically. I think we've already gone 15 minutes past. So why don't we stop? Thank you. Um, there is, there, I was hoping that Sharifa Jones would be here. There was, she got me these through her state library card and they're downloaded. And I would hope that if, she says it's no big deal to get a state library card, that you can go get these and, and look at them. The actual bound editions, like I said, are in the State Historical Society or in the library at I, the University of Iowa. And Spencer has the 1941 with a 52 update. So they're bound editions, they're almost two foot square, they're on really heavy paper, they're color coded, they're just, they're wonderful and they're not, the printing is not grainy, like, you know, they were scanned, so these, the, the texts are grainy. They're just so crisp uh, because they never see sun. They're, they're in a room all the time, so they're just wonderful. But I, and I was, I managed to go to those places and they let me copy and we color coded some maps to, to show which ones weren't wood frame buildings at the time. So, um, so the two additions that Spencer has, are they here in this building? Or yep, they they're here in this here? one building, but it's only one book. What they did was they took the book and they pasted updates onto the pages mm -hmm. above the 41 stuff and they put 52 huh. stuff on top. Huh. So it's just, the same, it was just one book. Mm -hmm. So with that, Bob, you want to shut it? And if you've got questions later, we can always stop. Kirby will be here if you have questions. And uh, Kirby, thank you so much. Very, very interesting. One more to go this coming Thursday. Uh, it's History of the Clay County Fair. Jeremy Parsons will be here. So we hope to see you then. Thank you all for being here. And uh, 
The rain has stopped, so you can get to your car without getting wet. Thank you all. Good night. Up.